we are still talking about the different computing services from AWS. In this video, we will discuss two messaging services. However, to understand this part, we need to speak first about the evolution of software and application design. Software developers used to follow an approach that is known as monolithic application design. You had the application composed of multiple functions and lines of code, all of these functions were hosted and bundled on one server, tightly coupled, and integrated together. Developers recently decided to shift away from the monolithic approach into another approach known as the microservices approach. In the new approach, the monolithic is broken, the application is split into smaller functions and dispersed over multiple forms of computing and servers. We refer to these components as being loosely coupled. So what can be the benefit behind that? Software developers have now more freedom and flexible software development cycles with fewer dependencies between the components, this makes the design more agile, more resilient, and more scalable. However, do not forget, the whole business function is obtained when these functions only communicate with each other. When they were hosted previously, within the same server, that was straightforward. Now, how will that be possible when they are disjointed from each other? That's why you need messaging services to allow communications between the different functions to occur. We will study two messaging services from AWS, SNS, and SQS. SNS is short for Simple Notification Service. It is a messaging service that follows a model known as the Publisher-Subscriber Model or PubSub. The publisher and the subscribers wish to communicate, this happens through a message topic, subscribers subscribe to the topic they are interested in, while the publisher publishes messages to be sent to the same topic. When SNS receives a new message for this topic, it immediately pushes this message toward the subscribers. That is why we call this model a push model. Watch this animation that shows how when a publisher publishes a new message to the message topic, how the SNS immediately replicates and sends the message to every subscriber on the subscribe list for that message topic. Messages are immediately pushed. What about when the receiving side is busy at the moment the message is being pushed? What would happen? Application error, maybe. Or, the message is simply dropped and lost, possible. So SNS in some designs might not be the best messaging option, let's see another one. SQS is another messaging service. It receives messages from the senders and stores them in a queue for a certain period of time. SQS is short for Simple Queue Service. Functions who are interested in receiving these messages can pull the queue to check for the existence of any new messages. When they are ready to receive these messages, they can pull them from the queue. That's why SQS is referred to as a messaging service that follows a pull model. As you can see the sender sends a new message that will be stored in the queue. At the other end, the receiving side is still busy with another task. Now, it is ready to process new data. It pulls the queue, hey have you got new messages for me? Yes, indeed. The queue replies back. So they send then a pull request to download the message and after that the message is delivered.